What's up with the squad? Back with another video, y'all. See, and the title was going down. Definitely apologize for getting these videos out late to y'all. Um, <clears throat> have been sick, still a little sick, uh, not a hundred percent. Um, been trying to really eat a little bit healthier, um, uh, which I eat healthy as it is, but eat healthier so you know, um, that it can help with this sickness. Um, our newborn was actually in the hospital, uh, we had to take her to the hospital, um, and then uh, we end up getting sick. So, um, obviously me or Chris haven't been a hundred percent, you know, but still got to push through and I definitely appreciate everybody, you know, for everything that y'all do, um, you know, um, and, and sending out, uh, prayers and, and, and liking the videos and sharing these videos and sending this video. Um, I was supposed to do this video. I'm pretty sure yesterday or the day before. Um, and then that's another video that I'm actually going to drop um that is definitely a banger so make sure y'all stay tuned definitely appreciate everybody tuning in watching this reaction let's get into it y'all what's up guys your boy benny magic words are they real can you actually say open sesame and the door is open can you say beetlejuice and he appears can you say voldemort in harry potter world is there such a thing as a magic word that can get you ripped off the air well in fact there is if you say the words tucker carlson on Fox News, well, you're liable to get your feed cut, even if you are the president of the United States of America. Watch what happened to Donald Trump when Donald Trump dared say the words Tucker Carlson on Fox. Doing Marjorie, I was someplace else, wasn't I, huh? I was doing another interview. We had 271 million people listening to the Tucker Carlson interview. That's an all time record. So here we are, uh, back in the thick of campaign cut, season. Cut, we are now cut, just cut, four cut, 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 cut. That's wild. Well. former President Trump in a place. All right, all right, shut up. So, hey, like, listen, if you say the words, That's this has wild. been widely reported, if you say the words Tucker Carlson on air at Fox, then you will get nuked. You'll get, you're finished on Fox. Donald Trump can't get away with it. And Fox is very, very touchy about this, and for good reason. This was not a good decision for them to fire Tucker Carlson. Tucker Carlson has gone and made an incredible, incredible series of moves afterwards that really damages Fox. And, well, it's why we bring you to this video that went thermonuclear viral this weekend of Greg Gutfeld saying the words Tucker Carlson on Fox and in such a charming and beautiful way. He's talking about Elon Musk and about the forces that align in order to try and destroy Elon Musk and how evil those forces are, and how they aligned also to destroy Tucker Carlson, and mm. how Fox News gave in to those forces. I mean, this is what balls looks like. Saying something like this on Fox News, watch. Extorting Jerry Nadler with salad. <laughs> <laughs> or blackmailing sports fans by threatening to cancel PBS. <laughs> The fact is, Musk may be the last man standing between real freedom of speech and the suffocating block of the censorship industrial complex, which is made up of government, media, and tech forces. He realizes that advertisers have no spine and can be easily cowed by special interest groups in cahoots with political allies. If you don't believe me, I got two words for you. Tucker Carlson. <laughs> Ooh, ooh. Wow. Wow. <laughs> hey, yeah, look awkward that, quick. Uh, room. Oh, man. Oh, the awkward silence. Everyone going, yeah, awkward. Oh, am I even allowed to Am I even allowed to laugh at that? Yes, you are. Because it's precisely what happened to Tucker. It's exactly what happened to our boy. There were enough advertisers and enough forces powerful enough to get Fox News to take him off the air, to finally strip mine the most popular talk show host in all of news. The most top popular news anchor in all news. Tucker Carlson's ratings were off the charts. And Fox News went through and actually committed financial uh, uh, fiduciary violation of their duties to their shareholders by getting rid of their most popular host. Now Tucker Carlson is going to go off and do his own thing and he's better for it. But, Definitely. ladies and gentlemen, uh, like, this industry of which I've been a part of, I've been in media for 15 years, I've had my own cable news shows. I gotta tell you, having like this is not an industry of moral people. This is a vile industry with people who will backstab you and run you over uh, with a U-Haul truck and your grandmother in order to get a leg up on you, your career, or in order to simply destroy you if they see you as a threat. 
And so having Greg Gutfeld Definitely. do this for Tucker Carlson and say things like this on air, not only puts Greg Gutfeld's career in jeopardy, but also shows that he's a good human being and a good man. Listen, I'm going to tell you all right now. <clears throat> if they end up, you know, getting rid of Gutfeld, might as well say bye to like the I feel like the 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 views the right like everything could 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 I feel like it go down they get rid of him honestly like and that's somebody just me being deeply honest. Uh, defends what he believes in and he said this many time uh, many times on air before uh, Greg Gutfeld has come to the defense and or the punchlines of Tucker Carlson a name that he's not allowed to say on Fox. In this instance, when Jesse Waters came back from paternity leave, check this out. Hey nurse, do you just sleep then? Yeah. Yeah, so the baby they nurse does night. the nights. Right. So we can get some rest. This is incredible. So the irony is you have a baby and we're the ones tuckered out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so to speak. Very good. You've had a tough couple of weeks, haven't you? Yeah, you, you didn't miss anything, trust me. But when you do the handoff tonight, Check the monitor. <laughs> I shouldn't wing it. Yeah, don't wing it. <laughs> All right. I'll see what I can do, but it's been a really great two weeks. I thought about So th th this was, of course, right after. So Tucker Carlson got fired right when Jesse Waters had a baby. Jesse Waters took Je uh, Tucker Carlson's time slot. Uh, we see no indication that, like, he wanted to do that necessarily or that he was trying to jockey for that. It just so happened to be the person who was, like, next in line. Mm. Uh, and there they are joking about this when he's back on air. Greg Gutfeld has also posited Tucker Carlson as a VP selection for Donald Trump on air on Fox. And all this, that was a move by the Congressional Black Caucus. And I think somebody like Susan Rice, who's got strong credentials with Obama and with Biden, looks at that and says, why aren't I the president? Wait, don't you she think that run. Susan Rice is going to take on Kamala Harris for the... Nomination. I think I think there is a chance. I'll of that, watch yeah. it. And then, so in 2024, it'll be it'll be uh, Susan Rice versus Tucker Carlson. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Up next, Bill Meyer are ripping into liberals for that failing to call crazy. out the prime price. You can so Greg Gutfeld, balls of steel, no f's given. A comedian, actually, that's kind of what you want in a comedian, not cowing or curbing his speech, speaking what he believes and saying uncomfortable truths. Elon realized that advertisers have no spine and can be easily influenced by special interest groups and chatbots, political allies. If you don't believe me, I have two words for you, Tucker Carlson. What a legend. What, what a legend for saying this. Everyone agrees, too. I mean, this is what thermonuclear, 24,000 likes. Certainly not the uh, first or last time that Greg Gottfeld name-dropped Tucker Carlson on the program. Again, it's worth stating that Greg Gutfeld often goes there on various issues. For instance, Hillary Clinton's suicides. Watch. For as long as they can because they're deathly afraid of him and they're going to do to him what they did to me in the Democratic primary of, mm -hmm. of 2020, which is pretend you don't exist. And then if you start, people start noticing you, then they will try to smear and yeah. cancel and destroy him at all costs. Rem I remember what Hillary did to you. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, and she's still standing in yeah. baseless smears that get that repeated over and over and over again by the propaganda media until people actually start to believe it, and it starts causing some real damage. But on the bright side, Hillary didn't kill you. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so it's a every day life is a blessing, yes, and I'm so it's a Tulsi Gabbard body double right now. <laughs> <laughs> AI, AI, exactly. AI. Jesse, uh, you we were in the oh, brain talking man. about Jesse Scott and how excited you are and what a positive, powerful message he had. At happened. least Hillary Clinton didn't kill you. And certainly not the first nasty woman that Greg Gutfeld has gone after live on air. Imagine a future where our pets can talk to us. It sounds crazy, but researchers believe that artificial intelligence may allow us to one day speak to other species. That's and right now, they're trying to do it with whales. <laughs> <laughs> Greg, as you think about these kind of communications, what 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 would you want? I feel like they know what response he was gonna give. That's why they laugh at right most. Now. I don't know if you what want guts to... in you. Greg, you, you talk to... to whales for. I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> no, if I want to hear what whales have to say, I watch hey. the view. Oh, <laughs> I just would say. I can't believe you would even think of that. Oh man, the view on That's fire. Crazy. This is why we need comedy. This is why we need actual comedians to. And that's exactly why I said, though, if they end up doing it, he's right for him. 
Might as well, might as well kick that whole channel. Goodbye. I mean, get their balls back and just make jokes about all powerful people. Certainly not to just insulate Republicans, like all powerful people. They're all clowns. Justin Trudeau does wear blackface. Justin Trudeau is the president of Canada, yet he saluted a Nazi and applauded for him. And when he did that, Greg Gutfeld had this to say. Yeah, there's only one, one response here, and that's to invade boots on the ground in Ottawa. You know, the people will welcome us as liberators. Uh, Justin Trudeau is a scuzz bucket. He, he, he couldn't be red in the face because he's black in the face. I actually take this pretty personally, and I'll tell you why. This Canadian MP said that just honking your horn in yep. the protests, yep. honk, honk, was code for Heil Hitler. Like apparently, unvaxxed truckers are treated worse than Nazis. Yeah, they made a mistake. I don't buy it. Remember, at this table, when I quoted Man's Search for Meeting, a Holocaust memoir, and I said that you had to have a skill to survive, and not as a good thing, but as a tragic, horrible reality, I was called pro-Nazism. I want to know where those people are now. Where are, the, where are they now when a real Nazi is there? Where's that White House asshole who condemned me? Do you remember that? Huh? Where are those smelly loser bloggers sniffing their dingy fingers and sharing their clonopin with their five cats? Why aren't they speaking up now, huh? When they actually have a real Nazi, because it's not about Nazis. It's about gathering scalps of political adversaries like a real Nazi would. Has the just flames, just absolute flames. And he can go in on major issues on big time issues that are of major concern. And it's incredible how it, it falls to a comedian and a talk show host to say these uncomfortable facts. In the US, they're radicalizing minds and our academia. I'm worried about the refugees. I'm worried about the people that are already here. Listen to Greg Gutfeld get deep for a moment. Greg, you don't trust Biden's ability to vet refugees? Uh, when was the last time he vetted anything? Right. Uh, I'm worried about the border. I'm worried about the refugees, but I'm also worried about the people already here. Yep. If you looked at Times Square on Friday or it was a Thursday, I think it was Friday. I mean, there's already an apparatus in the United States that's radicalizing minds and it's our academia. I mean, they're, they're, they're the scariest people are radical intellectuals. And as uh, as for vulnerability, the Dems, they can never look south. You know, remember that climate change movie called Don't Look Up? Mm -hmm. And it was about like people would look up at this asteroid or whatever coming for us. They always, the left always accuses you of what they're doing. And in this case, they refuse to look south, which is why <laughs> Governor Abbott moved south north. And they were forced to look at it. The refugee issue is this. Innocent people in danger need refuge. But where is the closest refuge? Not here. It's over there. So that's, that's step up. That's that's mm. your responsibility. We want to help people in danger. However, what if those people have been indoctrinated? What if they already see us as subhuman? We already have that in Times Square. Do we need more? Do we need a backup group? And even if it's a small fraction, you don't need a lot of people who want to kill you to kill you. I just look at the fact that somebody got to do it. You know, uh, there's a lot of people that don't hold back. And I feel like, obviously, that y'all see that he's not one of them. He's not going to hold back. Um, <clears throat> and I feel like that's obviously what Tucker was about. Um, and there's reasons on why they get rid, why they got rid of, you know, or why they get rid of people, you know. And it, 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 it sucks at the fact that uh, if they are, you know, having this or feeling some type of way about gut feel, Gutfield is literally what's, what what got people. I, I feel like because when I when I do react when I see Fox and I you know Fox News, I look for Gutfield. I look for you know, um, and I feel like that's just what it is. Make sure I hit that like button, that subscribe button. Let me know what y'all comments are down below. Um, what y'all feel about it? I mean y'all thoughts. So I say comments. See, I'm sick. Let me know what y'all thoughts are though. Uh, cause I definitely want to know. I want to know. I, I, I think it's that though. I definitely think it's that, um, a lot of people, uh, are scared to tell the truth, but y'all see he's not. Make sure I hit that like button. That's I definitely appreciate y'all tuning in, watching this reaction. Catch y'all next one.